Craftery by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making our very own ballot box to learn about America's voting system and our electoral college. Here's what you'll need. A shoe box, red, white, and blue construction paper, scissors, a glue stick or tape, and markers. The United States is a representative democracy, or a republic, which means that we, the people, elect our representatives for our cities, our states, and our country. As American citizens, we have the right and responsibility to vote for our leaders. It's a special privilege that millions of people around the world continue to fight for today. Oh, we've got a question. What is the Electoral College? How do you become a student there? I was hoping you would ask that. The Electoral College is not a school, but is a group of people who elect the president and the vice president of the United States every four years. Yes, you heard that right. It seems confusing, but it's really unique. I'll explain. When Americans vote for president and vice president, we are actually voting for someone called an elector to represent us in what's called the Electoral College. Again, it's not a school. This elector usually casts his or her vote for the candidate who wins in their state. I'll talk more about this in a bit, but in the meantime, let's start making our own ballot box. What you're gonna do is take the top of your shoe box and cut a rectangle out of the top. Ask a grown-up for help if you need it. There we go, just like that. Let me get back to explaining a little bit more about this electoral college. Our founding fathers wanted American citizens to be involved in choosing our president and vice president. So they established a voting system, but they also feared that candidates from larger states with more people in those states to vote for them would always have an unfair advantage because they could always outvote the smaller states. So the idea of an electoral college was established in Article 2, Section 1 of our U.S. Constitution. There are all sorts of details and rules, but here's the main idea for how it works. During a presidential election, every state holds its own election for president and vice president. The candidates that win the popular vote in each state, the most votes from the people in that state, usually win all of the electors from that state. Meaning, if a majority of people in California vote for one presidential candidate, then all of California's electoral votes are given to that candidate when it's time to figure out the winner. There are some exceptions, but you can learn about all of those later, okay? What do you say we make this ballot box look pretty? Let's cover it up with our red, white, and blue paper. You can use any kind, but you know me, I like red, white, and blue. There we go. All four sides covered, kind of fun, huh? So, how many electors does each state get? Well, it depends on how many people live in that state. States have as many electors as number of representatives and senators that they have in the U.S. Congress. For example, I'm from California. Right now, California is allowed 53 representatives and two senators in Congress, and that's based on how many people live here. So, California is allowed a total of 55 members in the Electoral College. Fun fact, the numbers of electors from each state can change every few years if a lot of people move out of one state and into another state. In total, there are 538 members of the Electoral College. The presidential and vice presidential candidates who win a majority of votes from these state electors, 270, win the election. Here's a challenge for you. Find out how many Electoral College members that your state has and write it on the top of your box. I'm gonna use California. Vote. 53 representatives, two senators, 
55 electors. Ta-da! Let's make the top of this box pretty. Time to decorate. Here we go. It is our responsibility and our right to vote. Easy, right? Your very own ballot box. Now, every time there's a family decision to be made, you can vote on it. What's for dinner? Vote. Who's walking the dog today? Vote. Our electoral college is unique when compared to other presidential elections around the world and has helped provide fairness to the United States presidential election system. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Thanks for voting! Bye, guys. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.